Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video, let's bootstrap some of our front-end applications like Uber Eats restaurant dashboard and uh, the admin dashboard. So Uber Eats is already a Next.js application. You can see it's using the latest version of uh, Next.js and here we can explore a little bit about Next.js. I mean things are pretty much changing fastly with these uh, SSR framework like Svelte it also released uh, a lot of changes from the earlier version similarly the Next.js also has a lot of changes now you can see uh, if we talk about the pages we are building the react components and all these things I mean SSR and here if you see this is the pages and I have configured the app components I mean if you see the earlier versions of Next.js the folder structure is a little bit different there you see the pages and inside pages you have the APIs and all the pages also you define there uh, currently it's using uh, Next.js version 13.1.6 uh, so if you look into some of the pages like how it is defined like the, the basic hello world app example Okay, because these changes are defined here it's still using the pages I mean when you create a Next.js applications you can you can specify you wanted to use a pages directory or the SRC directory directory or the app directory so that should be defined somewhere you can see app directory is true that means all the pages you will be putting inside app okay I mean this is experimental feature I'm using the latest version of uh, this next JS so all the documentation still talks about the pages directory similarly we will have a we are going to bootstrap the Svelte kit app so for that we go here and Svelte kit how to get started creating a basic project we will use the same so we'll go to the pages CD packages and here we wanted to bootstrap the restaurant dashboard app let's say restaurant admin okay uber eats admin call it as a and it will ask you a couple of options do you want to use this package and Svelte kit demo app, Svelte kit skeleton, or what do you want? Simple Svelte uh, skeleton project. Scaffolding, and it is going to use TypeScript syntax. Yes. ESLint, yes. Prettier, yes. I mean, we are already using the prettier configurations at the root, root of the project. So we can also skip using these things. Now Uber Eats admin can be is just another package and it's using uh, Svelte kit and you will see now the components are using the plus symbol like earlier version of Svelte kit is a little different there you are not using there you are using the page name now I will talk about those changes separately in a separate video what are the changes in the latest version but here we are starting from the, the basic so we can talk about those things so this is just a simple piece it will render this when you run this we can just do npm install and npm run dev let's say the package dot json we have build command and it is using bit as a uh, like earlier earlier version of swell kit and swell js is using i think uh, what do we call that Uh, pack there is some bundler roll up yeah roll up uh, I forgot I forgot that now it is using wit wit is actually uh, doing the build and it is compiling this all the and running the application okay these are the dependencies like modules and you can see Svelte config it is using the default adapter okay and this is the wit config like if you wanted to go into the deep I will be running a parallel playlist which talks about only about Svelte kit how to build a whole application in Svelte kit there I will cover a lot of more things here I will just create a components and will showcase you how things are happening okay 
so this is admin and then we have one create react tab we need to add that is uh, restaurant dashboard i guess i mean i can delete this for now and then i can create a restaurant dashboard so i think create react app is also have a same command create react app and then i keep switching a lot of different things so i just wanted to copy the command and we can say this is restaurant service restaurant dashboard So it is using create react app and it is also using the latest version so here is our restaurant dashboard it will also bootstrap it and i think it didn't ask us to use the typescript but uh, now you can also write the react app with the typescript or without typescript now everything is using typescript so we should be align on that all the front end and back end services will be using typescript and missing dependencies in the package.json i have what happened let me delete this let me try this again so it's a uh, it's installing the react react dom react script and see using CRA template react script is actually using all those things like webpack uh, under the hood so you don't need to install all the dependencies react scripts are doing a lot of things for you under the hood and i think now it's bootstrapping some of the stuff okay one thing i did mistake you can actually choose the template if you wanted to use the typescript and that we missed i mean i want to write it with the typescript only we will change i will change it like create react tab with typescript there is i think you need to specify the template create react tab with uh, typescript adding typescript and that will okay we just need to specify the template typescript and that will do our job okay so what i will do is i can remove this for now and this is my command i will just add the template typescript and this will do the same thing okay it's like a repetitive step but we got it it's going to introduce the ts config file has been created with the default view and these are our components tsx you can see and it has its build command build command now if i go to the root okay npm run build npm install and then we'll just hit npm run build command let's see how many of these is passing let's check the node version first npm run build because now we have build command on a lot of projects the the admin dashboard uber eats so okay the build looks fine on all the projects restaurant dashboard uber eats admin and npm run test okay so this is like a bootstrap of the projects if you wanted to run these projects individually what you need to do you need to go inside individually cd packages and let's say cd we'll talk about first uh, restaurant dashboard i think this is create react app with the typescript npm run a start that is the command and that should start our application this is the first one similarly we will see the other okay this is fine we are good with this and then we'll go to the the swellkit tab which is i think admin app this is swellkit app npm run what is the command for uber eats admin go to package.json 
npm run dev okay i want to run this locally what happened uh, i clicked on enter completed uh, before that i can just generate a build because this is a ssr application I think build is already created, so we are good, I guess. npm run dev, it's running on this port. Yes, we got this, so it's a 12 key type is fine. Now we can talk about next JS application, which is which one is the next JS? Uber Eats, simple Uber Eats is the next JS. and there we will do npm run dev okay so we have different front ends of next.js Svelte kit create react app uh, with typescript these are couple of uh, applications we are running right i can go to this 3000 and this is already built and it is using next.js 13.0 and it is rendering you can see app pages.tsx earlier in earlier versions of Next.js, there was no option. You have to put all these things inside a pages directory, pages, API folder, pages, and all the components, which becomes the route. Okay. Now you can put the things inside pages also, inside app directory, because app is now your main uh, directory. So we will, I mean, I know a lot of things, things has been changed, but what we will do is we will learn by doing things because these are this is how it how we are running it this is our next config first we are building it and then we are starting the application using dev we will create a layouts components all sort of things we are going to do with next js and this whole setup so what i will do is i will just push this thing this is just a, like you can say a basic setup uber eats admin is owned by the the product team like who can see the number of restaurants like i'm, I'm the admin of the product and i wanted to see what who all different users who all different restaurant has been registered what all different uh, food items has been registered what all the all the uh, the orders happening in the system all i can see uber it is actually end user application in the next years and the restaurant dashboard is the dashboard we are providing to the restaurant owners to see their orders their food, food menu item they can register login all sort of things they can do and they are going to talk to universal backend through the gateway service okay we'll just push this thing and we'll go from there 